Jump in the news this week. Let's take a look at the activities of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board for this week, November 6th to 10th, 2023. Champ Registrar awarded Sultan Mohammed Saad Prize. The Registrar, Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, Jam, Professor Ishak Oloidi, has been honored with the Sultan Mohammed Saad Exemplary Prize in Peace Building. In a notification of the award, which was signed by the Chairman Planning Committee, Sadauki Sakwato Mohammed Lawal Meidoki, the committee explained that Professor Oloide was honored with the award on account of his fostering peaceful coexistence among the diverse nationalities in the country. The award was presented to Professor Oloide at the closing ceremony of the 10th Usman of Benfodio Week at the conference center Kasarawa Sukuto, which was organized by the Sultanate Council and the National Council of Muslim Youth Organizations to mark the 10th anniversary of the Sultan on the revered throne. Ekiti Governor Lord's Jam on quality service delivery. Ahead of the upcoming 2024 UTME registration, the Executive Governor of Ekiti State, His Excellency Abiodu Oyebanji, has lauded the leadership qualities of Professor Ishak Oloyede-led administration in the area of quality service delivery. Governor Oyebanji spoke in Adoikiti on Thursday, 26th October 2023, when he received in audience a delegation of Ikiti State Office led by the coordinator, Mr. Hassan Lawal, in his office. The governor recalled how JAM, under Professor Oloyede, had secured the trust of Nigerians through transparency especially as it relates to the remittances of surpluses to the Federation account, admissions, fighting corruption, curbing examination malpractices, and other unwholesome practices. Continuing, the Governor assured the Board of his administration's unflinching support in all its operational processes in the state. Integrity, Ethics Test, Oloide, a shining example for others, ICPC. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Order Related Offences Commission ICPC, has rated high the Registrar of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board JAM, among other chief executives. The Director of Public Enlightenment and Education, Mr. Mohammed Ashiru Baba, disclosed this in an interview with JAM Bulletin shortly after the close of a one-day sensitization program organized by the Board's Anti-Corruption and Transparency Unit, Act 2, held on Tuesday, 24th October, 2023. According to the Director, the Commission arrived at this judgment following the Board's impressive scorecard on ethics and integrity, which ranked it above 400 MDAs. Any admission outside CAPS is not authentic, JAM charges lawsuit matriculants. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, has reiterated that any admission offers outside CAPS is not authentic, stressing that CAPS platform is the only authentic pathway to higher education in Nigeria. This warning was made recently during the matriculation ceremony of 79 students of the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital School of Orthopedic Cast Technology and Anesthetic Technology which took place on Wednesday, 1st November, 2023. Niger State NSCDC boss visits JAM, promises improved service delivery. Towards fostering increased collaboration between the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, the newly deployed Niger State Commandant of the NSCDC, Mr. Elijah Etim Willi, on Friday, 27th October, 2023, paid a courtesy call on the Niger State Coordinator, Mr. Ibrahim Nasiru Yaru. In his interaction with the State Coordinator, the Commandant said his visit was born out of the need to consolidate with the existing cordial relationship between the Board and the Corps. Shitu visits Lagos State Education Commissioner ahead of Servicom Week. The Acting Director of the JAM National Headquarters Annex, Lagos, Mr. Biliamini Shitu has paid a courtesy visit to the newly appointed Lagos State Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education, Honorable Jamil Aliu Balogo. 
The visit was to congratulate him on his recent appointment and to discuss how to address the issue of data mismatch during candidates' enrollment for UTMEDE ahead of the Cervicom Week, slated to hold from Monday 6th to Friday 10th November 2023. For more news stories from the board, please visit our website www.jam.gov.ng.